Hello, it's Sassy Beauty 69. And today is Monday, I believe it's the 18th, January 18th. And I'm just doing an updated video. Um, as you know, it's that time of year where we all have our flare ups. And I don't know if you remember last year in February. I had flare-ups for quite some time, so I hope that this is not my period where I'm having the, the, the flare-ups for quite some time. I've been feeling this pain in my hips, going across my hips, and then shooting down my legs, and it's quite painful. I have an appointment with a, um, a, a marijuana specialist, it's a doctor here in the state of New York and um, it was for Friday night but then um, it was a miscommunication and again tonight it was for tonight but then I told him I was in a flare and you know sitting and bending and twisting and all of that when you're in the middle of a flare is a little bit too much and then answering questions you get brain fog so I asked if it would be okay if we could move it till tomorrow so hopefully tomorrow we'll finally get it done and then I will be able to to get some kind of medication that would give me some relief I hope that it will work um, I've been on some medications that's worked in the past however these are opiates and I'm sure you know that they leave some some um, side effects. Like if you go through my videos, you'll see me like this talking, and I was like this, and I was talking. I had no idea. I had no idea. That's the way I look. And I used to talk to people and and get into it with people, and I, I would I could hear myself. It felt sound like my my tongue was fat from arguing with people. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, but no one came to me and told me, look, you are high and you're out of your mind. It took me to go back and look at some of my videos to realize what I look like. And I told my doctor, I said, I don't want to, I don't want to be on medication that had me like that where during the day I can't function or I don't want to be on medication where I'm sleeping all the time so he put me out he took me off of I was on Soma took me off of that and um, I was taking quite a bit of medication it was Soma fentanyl and Topamax and that's a lot and so like I said, if you go through my videos at the very beginning, that's what I was on. And I was crying and boohooing and I was just tore up. Then, after they took me off to Soma, um, I can't remember what they put me on next, but I know I was on fentanyl. I know I was on fentanyl and I took fentanyl and I think they put me on morphine now i'm allergic to morphine so i would have to take the morphine with benadryl so every time i would take the morphine i would take i have to take benadryl and that kind of gave me relief but then i started thinking about long-term effects with the morphine so and then i started getting really bad headaches so I went to the doctor and I said, is there anything that you could give me similar to morphine that won't um, give me the side effects with the headaches? So then they put me on um, met methadone, I think it was called. So I took that and that didn't seem to do anything at all. But I took it and... Um, my sister-in-law told me, oh, you better get off the methadone. 
your teeth will fall out or your teeth rot or something. I couldn't remember what she said. So I, I went to my doctor and says, okay, you have to take me off of the methadone. And I was still on the fentanyl patch. So then they put me on. Sorry, my eyes bother me because I'm sunning. I have my energy light on and it's pretty bright, as you can see. See, it's bright. So it's kind of bothering this eye. So anyhow, um, I was on fentanyl and I think I was on the muscle relaxant. But I can't remember exactly what it was. And I took Topamax. And I took Effexor and I took Seroquel. So, that was my my cocktail for, you know, and I took it at night. I only took it at night. I didn't take it in, during the day unless I was in extreme pain. I took my Tizanidine. So, here I am now. The only cocktail I have is at night to help me sleep, and that's my Effexor. Sorry. My Effexor and my Seroquel. You know, and then with my blood pressure and cholesterol, you know, the norm medication, not for pain. Oh, excuse me. So, with that being said, um, like I said, the weather really causes the flare-ups. Stress causes flare-ups. And I really apologize on bothering my eye. But looking in that light. Or you know I got something in my eye. I don't feel anything, but I just felt the brightness in my eye. So anyhow, so like I said, the weather and and stress is the main cause of my pain, or if I overexert myself. And so, but pretty much, you know. I'm able to function more now than I was before. I can't. Excuse me. I can't carry like bags of groceries or do like serious housekeeping. I I can't do that at all. I can't like run around chasing kids or you know. Those things are still the same. What I mean is, I'm not sleeping all day. I'm more active as far as I'm awake. And then um, I'm awake and I'm able to hold conversations with you. However, I don't know if it's the PTSD that I suffer from, but I'm easily, easily triggered to get angry. I can get very, very angry. I can be so kind and talking to you and I switch. I did a video earlier today um, about the history of the radio albums, the albums, the record players that we used to have. I was talking about the history of that. And then I went off from that. I switched from that to talking about police brutality, that these kids should have these odd drops. This is irritating me. That the kids should respect, you know, if anyone should respect an um, officer with a badge and don't disrespect them. I think that a lot of these situations are brought on when they, they can be avoided. And then I got into the conversation, someone scratched my car up. That's when I got pissed. Someone, now, when I describe this to you, you and I, we're not stupid. The scratches are, be, are were intended, it's no accident. On the top of my hood, there are swirls and swirls and swirls and swirls. Like someone got out of the car and took their keys and sat on top of my car and did like this. Just did like this with their keys. There's swirls and swirls and swirls and swirls of scratches on the hood of my car. Then they took their keys and put it on my windshield 
and did the same thing. So my windshield is also scratched, like engraved scratches. Not like light scratches where I can take a buffer and buff them. They're deep scratches. And I wouldn't be upset if I could use my insurance, which I have insurance, but I was told I'm not allowed to to use it to make a claim because they're afraid that we will get dropped. I will get my car fixed. Then they also went through the trouble of taking my windshield wiper apart. So, it's vandalism by someone that's a fool and I don't have enemies. And I saw this person pull up behind my car. And I saw her sitting in the car. She never came inside. And when I looked back up out the window, she was gone and she didn't come back until hours later. Next day, my car scratched up. So I decided people been keep telling me not to make a video or don't say anything about it. Well, I couldn't be quiet. I just couldn't, especially when, you know, she posted a picture of herself and said she's a bad bitch. Well, a bad bitch don't go around scratching on people's cars. They actually confront someone if they have a problem with them. I'm just saying. So anyhow, I see I look, I got a little swelling. So I guess something bit me. Anyhow, I'm going to stop the video because I'm having some issues with my eye and it seems to be getting worse and better. But I just wanted to just update everyone on how I've been doing. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm in a flare and it's a very painful flare. I just took my muscle relaxants and it seems like I have to take two every three hours. Three or four hours. I'm supposed to take them every six hours. It's been so painful. But in 30 minutes, it'll be time to take my cocktail or medications and go to bed. So I think I'll hold off. I can wait 30 minutes and take my meds for bedtime. And just deal with the pain tomorrow night. That's the only time it comes. And I wish you all a very happy Monday. And stay blessed. And thank you so much for sus subscribing and supporting me. And I'll do the same. And I'm here. I'm sorry that um, my videos are so far in, in between. I'll try and do better. And I apologize for shortening my video, but my eye is swelling up. I don't know what the heck is going on. But bless you. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure you subscribe. SassyBeauty69. And I am on Instagram as SassyBuyYouSome46. Or SassyBeauty. Buy you some 46. Either sassy buy you some 46 or sassy beauty buy you some 46. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.